All right, Coach is here. We'll get started. Um, and we'll open up with Parker Gabriel, Lincoln General Star. Hey, Scott, your, uh, your depth at running back's been tested each of the three years you've been here. How do you think it's, it's held up uh, this year? And what kind of difference does it make as a play caller when you've got a guy in the game that you trust to do everything at that position? Yeah, that certainly helps. Um, yeah, uh, we have had, you know, challenges is probably the right word with depth there. Uh, certainly didn't help us having Mills nicked up. I said last week I knew we were young after him. Um, so we, we tried to fast track the rest of those guys, get them ready. I think they've done a good job considering, uh, but, you know, experience helps and their familiar, familiarity with the offense helps when you're trying to make adjustments and call things. And um, I'm really pleased with the, with the talent we have in that room. Um, we just got to keep bringing them along. And, and do you think, is Diedrich, is he in the mix to potentially be back this weekend? Yeah, we got our fingers crossed. Joe Nugent, WWT. Hey, Scott. Um, on Monday, you talked about the study where the offense scored on more than 90% of the drives where there, were not a, where there wasn't a mistake. Um, did you share that recently with the team? Yeah, we talk about those things in-house all the time. Um, we, we can't uh, beat ourselves. We're, we're playing too good a team this weekend. We played too good a teams week in and week out. Uh, it's hard to sustain drives when you make mistakes, and th there's been too many snaps, uh, too many, too many negative plays. Um, so, it, you know, we, we're talking about those things in house all the time. Uh, the guys know the importance of it. Uh, we got to get buttoned up a little more so so we can be more consistent. Brian Christofferson. Hey, Scott, I know you've said you feel as good about wide receiver as since you've been here. Um, could you just expound a little bit on what you've seen through the course of these last couple months from those guys that, that give you the confidence uh, that, that that's trekking the right way? We got, uh, you know, a few guys that have been here a while that um, really know what they're doing. Uh, Cade Warner probably being the leader of those, and, and we trust him to run everything that, that we got. Um, Levi Fox new, come in and done a good job. Uh, Wyatt Lever is learning as a walk-on from O'Neill, Nebraska. I really like uh, how he's progressed. Um, I think when, when I was referring to that, the talent in that room has really gotten better. Um, a lot of it's young, and, and like I've said several times, um, you know, Xavier wasn't around all summer. Uh, we, were, we were hoping for really good things with Omar, and he hasn't been healthy. Um, Will Nixon came in. He's a really talented kid. And he he got hurt in the off season. Uh, Melante Brown has a ton of talent. Um, I don't want to leave anybody out, but um, and Chris Hickman's doing good things. We have a lot of guys that uh, that I feel like can do things um, and have the talent to do what we ask them to do on the football field. Um, some of them we just need a little more time with them so so that they're more consistent. Are those true freshmen really good about? Um... I guess taking in the lessons and and having the the patience and all that stuff as as they go through this. Yeah, our coach has been working hard with them. They uh, they spend extra time with them, spend extra time on the field, extra time with signals. Um, those guys want to get better, and it's good to see. Uh, Oliver Martin's another one. You know, he he didn't take a ton of reps until we found out he was eligible, but he was learning the entire time, and it's just a lot of new players. But uh, I'm. I'm Impre impre <clears throat> impressed with the talent we have at that position uh, every day. Sam McEwen. Hey, Scott, how, how do you feel like your team um, responded this week uh, after after a rivalry game? I'm sure there's motivational issues week to week, but you you said that you felt really good about this team being hungry, and I, I'm, I'm curious as to just how they did this week and, and how they're doing now moving into December and still playing regular season games. Uh, really well. Um, the guys are, you know, they, they didn't take it very well Saturday and I, and uh, I hope that put a chip on their shoulder a little bit. Um, they know they, they got another big challenge this week, uh, going on the road to a good team, but, um, their approach to everything they did this week was exactly what I'd want it to be. Do you think, I mean, you guys have been at this a long time now, eight months. 
um, when you think about coming, bringing guys back from COVID and all that, it, how have you sort of managed, inevitably there's going to be low moments for a coach, for a player. How do you kind of power through those things? Like, what do you kind of rely on when you just have to maybe take 10, 15 minutes and get away from, from the grind of the testing and the preparing and the uncertainty? Yeah, it, it has been. It's it's been such a, a crazy year in a lot of ways. Um, again, I don't want anybody to feel sorry for anybody that's coaching and playing football because there's other bigger problems out there, and um, those are certainly more important than than our issues. The, but the guy's been at it a long time. Uh, to be honest, I think if you took a poll of a lot of people, um, it's getting close to Christmas. Guys are used to being done. Um, I don't get that sense on our team. Um, our guys want to play more games, and they're excited to do that. Uh, but you know, this late in the year, it's just unusual. So, um, you know, we, we we don't have them up here all day, Sam. Uh, they get away some. Um, you know, I don't think they can do all the normal things they do when they get away. That's that's kind of been the big issue with a lot of this: is you can't go to a movie, you can't you can't go hang out with friends, you can't go to parties. You, um, so it's been a long year for some of these kids uh, on top of the coaches. And um, that's just the, what everybody's been having to deal with this year. Thank you. Two more for Coach Kevin Suits. Hey, Scott, you've coached against Bob Diaco before, and you're aware of his history at uh, Nebraska. Just curious how you would describe your relationship with him, if there is one. And then from a football standpoint, what's the common thread and what he tries to do defensively, no matter where he's been? Uh you know, I, I have um, mutual respect, I think, is probably the right word to, to talk about with what he does. And he, he's an established defensive coach. Uh, he's had good success. I um, think he's a good coach. Um, you know, we coached against each other once when he was head coach at UConn. It was a good game. It was a tough game. Um, you know, I think they, they're, they're sound. Uh, Typically, don't give up a lot of big plays. Uh, make it hard on you to run it. Um, he knows what he's doing. We finish up back to Parker Gabriel. Scott, I know you're focused on getting ready for a game, but there's been a lot of rumblings about moving pieces, whether it's next week or December 19th in the Big Ten. Have you or has the school heard anything from the Big Ten about either that December 19th weekend and how that's going to work or anything about sort of the schedule